Matt Schellinger looking to even up his amateur career at two and two as he walks in with a one and two mark. He also walks in with a bit of a height advantage over Skiro. That to the tune of four inches. We'll see if Schellinger is able to use that to his advantage against Skiro, who we know is a good wrestler, but has become a much better striker as well. Schellinger into the cage, Skiro up next. Next up, his opponent, Carlito Skiro. All right, the word you used earlier, Gerald, was discography. This one definitely reaches deep into the discography. Early 80s, Rockwell. Somebody's watching me. By the way, Michael Jackson on the backup vocals on this one. There he is right there as Carlito Skiro is heading into the cage. Skiro, by the way, was on my show earlier this week and was talking about his new striking ability. It's something that he's really focused on. The Skiros have that wrestling background from La Follette. The whole family wrestles. And we've seen Dante, his older brother, kind of evolve into a guy that can do it all and be a good all-around fighter. That's Carlito's way as well as he is trying to get to that point. Well, he should have his chance. We saw his opponent come out with uh, in tie shorts in the traditional, I believe it's pronounced Manco, if I'm remembering correctly, the tie head. Is piece. that what so, that's called? Yeah. Yeah. So he uh, at least is outwardly making it seem as though he wants this to be a striking contest. So Carlito will have his chance. I don't think I've seen one of those since the movie Kickboxer with John claude Van Damme in it. Uh, we take a look at Skiro, who is now into the cage as we are set to go up to Chris in the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout features three rounds in our amateur super welterweight division. Introducing first, this man fighting out of the TNT red corner. He stands in at six foot two inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. He represents the Red Wing Academy and hails from Mayville, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Schellinger. His opponent is this man, fighting out of the Kern's blue corner. He hails from right here in Madison, Wisconsin, and represents the Chosen Few Gym. In three amateur bouts, this man has two victories, standing in at five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 175 ready pounds. Carlito Skiro! The crowd definitely loves the Skiros here at Monona Terrace and in Madison, and why not, as the legacy that they have built here for their family and for themselves is well defined and etched in the laurels of wrestling here in the city and now in MMA as well with the success of Dante Skiro and now Carlito trying to follow him as well. We're going to take a look at some of that striking that Carlito's trying to do. Boy, he got wow. pushed right back. Good spin kick by Schellinger. And Schellinger teeing off on the kicks. And now Skiro's going to go back to that wrestling that he knows so well. Yeah, Schillinger, like I said, he came out looking like he wanted this to be a striking match. And I could see when he's walking around the cage, you know, for being as skinny as he is everywhere else, the dude has huge calves. So spending a lot of time, it would seem, on his toes, kicking, doing a lot of stuff. Technique seemed pretty solid. You know, you never know with some of these smaller gyms, but it's looking like this might be the uh, smarter option for Carlito in this fight. Yeah, Skiro definitely working and improving on that striking game and now using some of that pounding here for Schellinger's head. But uh, definitely this Ooh. is where Skiro feels comfortable as hopefully he didn't get that arm caught under there. Uh, he's good right now. He's doing a good job he's trying to stack. I don't know if I'd recommend the slam, but he did slip out. So Carlito did a really good thing there. He circled around, got his weight on top of him, making sure he can't extend that arm. But again, this guy seems dangerous with his legs on bottom. He already went for kind of a, a leg lock setup to use as an escape in there. It was pretty quick to swivel to that arm bar. So he's no slouch off his back. Yeah, Schellinger doing a good job on his back is what I would say and after another arm having bar some attempts. kicks. Yeah, he's trying for that arm bar, and, and Skiro 
might walk right into it. We've seen him lose his first fight, actually, as an amateur, want that direction because of an arm bar and something that he's really got to be aware of right now. So they're even on the triangle attempt. Carlito did a really good job keeping his weight down and smothering uh, Skillinger. And now seeing full mount, he's got to hold this control a little bit and posture up and get some strikes. Crowd like, like he's this. He's conceding the position. He could possibly get a finish here unless he's waiting for an explosion. Crowd was excited. Challenger doing everything he can just to cover up right now as Skiro's ground and pound attack trying to end the fight. But it looks like Schellinger kind of wearing it pretty well. Uh, it doesn't seem like he has much in the way of mount defense. He's trying to bridge, but Carlito's hips aren't too close to Schillinger's hips, so he's just sitting here taking damage. Now some good gonna damage. That's going to do it. You know, it just never stopped, and Schillinger had no way to get out of it. It's not like a lot of those punches and a lot of those pounds were necessarily getting through. A lot of them hitting him on the elbows and the forearms, but the thing is he had no answer. That's it just right. didn't seem like he the was going to get up. The rule does say intelligent defense, and if it's very clear that you ran out of options, there's no reason to stay in a position where you could get potentially hurt, especially as an amateur. He tried the same thing three times. It didn't work. The ref felt he had no other way out of it, and that ended the fight. Skiro with a big win and a bit of a flip there as well. I think he's got to work on that part of his game. We'll come back and get the official decision right after this on TVW. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Tom DeVello, steps in, calls a stop to this bout at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number one for your winner by TKO, Carlito Skiro. Nice job by Carlito Skiro to improve to three and one with that first round technical knockout as we got to see some of the striking, but really what did it was Carlito being able to work on the ground and his ground game was better than Schellinger's as he was able to finish him off and again improve to three and one. All right, JT Schulte is going to be in the cage next against Nick Gonzalez as we are taking a look at Skiro. Why don't we look at that finish again as they went ahead and are showing it right now on the replay. Skiro getting the better of Schellinger. We'll let that take us out to break here at Chosen Few Fighting Championships number 18 All on right, TVW. Ladies and gentlemen.